project. January, Universal Century, year 0079. The space colonies of Side 3, declaring themselves the Duchy of Xeon, launched a war of independence against the Federated Union of Earth. At the same time, the Xeon forces undertook Operation British, an attempt to drop a space colony onto Earth. Target, Jabrau Base, headquarters of Earth's federal forces in South America. However, after the colony entered the atmosphere, it was destroyed over the Arabian Peninsula. The largest remaining piece of the colony hurtled toward Earth and struck Sydney, Australia, instantly transforming the city into a huge gulf. The Duchy of Xeon, based on space colonies, didn't have the raw materials needed to fight an extended war. With the failure of Operation British, a war was now inevitable, so they embarked on a plan to land on the Earth to secure the materials it needed. With Blitzkrieg speed, they seized two-thirds of the Earth's surface. Even Australia, which bore the worst scar of the Operation British disaster, fell under Xeon attack for its natural resources. The Federal Forces Division in Australia, already badly battered by the disaster, could do nothing to repel them. It's been 11 months since the war began. The Earth's Federal Forces counteroffensive in Europe, Operation Odessa, has been a total success. Across the Earth's surface, the military balance is swinging heavily to the Federal Forces' side. And across the globe, one counteroffensive after another has been successfully launched. And in Australia, which took the brunt of Operation British's damage, a counterattack against the Xeon forces has just begun to unfold as well. all of Red Possum's strength here. However, their advance mustn't be slowed either. That's why we're going to insert you white dingoes into Rainbow Valley by air. Your presence is essential if we're going to stand a fighting chance against these fearless marauders. Your top priority is to neutralize those enemy ground and anti-air emplacements. Make sure Red Possum's advance is swift and successful. Due to the mission's timing, the tank battalion headed toward the front will arrive in the battle zone during your mission. 
We've been waiting for this opportunity for too long now. The future of the Federation is in your hands. You people are the best ones for this job. I expect to see you completed quickly and decisively. We're about to move out. Get a final. Before we do, let's get a final confirmation on our mission code names for everyone. <laughs> Lieutenant Rayer, the mobile suit you're in is designated Fang 1. Leon's unit is Fang 2. Mike's unit is Fang 3. My hover truck has been designated as Oasis. Please remember that. Fang 2, Leon, roger that. Fang 3, Mike here, roger. So, yeah. Anita's code name is going to be Oasis. Kind of ironic, isn't it? Hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Hey, just kidding. It's a very appropriate name for our dear Anita. The lovely flower of the battlefield. You better watch your back out on that battlefield. Oh, I'm so scared. Would you guys please knock it off with all that chatter? Lieutenant, can't you say something to them? Like Peter, the invasion of Alice Springs. Hey there, Lieutenant Rayer. It's almost time to go. I'm here trying to get the mobile suit ready to move out for the operation. So if you got any suggestions, just let me know, all right? Here it is, the RGM-79GM. This is the Federal Force's first mass production. GM cannon. It has a cannon. All right, now that you've finished equipping your suit, you're all ready to get out there and face your next soap. like we may have caught them off guard. A meteor shower. Remnants of the colony drop. Maybe they're the souls of all those that were killed in the drop, drawn back by the Earth's gravity. Wow, what an incredible sight to behold. Mike, you sound like a poet. Don't make fun of what I said. I'm totally serious. This land here is charged with the power of hatred for the Xeon. I can feel it in my bones, too. Power from the dead, is that what you're talking about? You mean the Xeon woke up a sleeping lion, don't you? Except we're dingoes, not lions. Dingoes are dogs. Don't you remember? Lieutenant, let's get started, immediately. Yeah, I'll show those Zeeks just how much power I got. Bang three. Enthusiasm's good, but don't let it get in the way of teamwork. Bang one, I'll be waiting for your instructions.
Lieutenant! The enemy's been completely destroyed! Looks like we won! This mission turned out to be a piece of cake for guys as good as us. There were too few of them for a properly deployed defense line. Something's fishy. What do you mean, Leon? This was all some big feint on the enemy's part? I think you're overthinking things. Good job on the last mission. The white dingo should be proud. Sorry, it's a little soon, but here's your next one. The white dingoes will now commence entering the occupied city of Alice Springs as reconnaissance for the main red possum force. You will then initiate attack on the enemy troops. When you do, your top priority will be to destroy the pillbox clusters in the hills to the north and south of the city, which are the biggest obstacles that the main force will face when entering there. Since this city is located in the central region of the continent, it was fortunately protected from the worst of the colony drop disaster. Meaning there are many civilians still there. Take the utmost care and precaution while in the area, so as not to endanger them. This especially applies to the water tanks, which are the lifelines for the city and the surrounding area. If they're destroyed, even if we manage to take the city from the Xeon, it'll make supporting it afterwards very difficult. Exercise extreme caution on this one. I wish you all the best of luck in this battle. Captain, I have some intel for you. According to the information I got from the Wombat Resistance Group that we encountered on our last mission, Xeon transport trains will move through Alice Springs within the next few days. They don't have any details as of yet, but there's a distinct possibility that they're transporting something very important. There is a chance that we may run into one of these trains during the battle. I wonder what they've got inside them. Rumor has it that as the Xeon forces began to show signs of defeat, they started loading up their resources and are secretly transporting them somewhere out into space. These shipments may be part of that plan if my sources are not mistaken. They may even be carrying some sort of vital resource for all we know. Lieutenant, I think we should consider stopping those trains that we happen to run across if we're going to see this through. Don't you think so? Well, we can cross that bridge when we get to it. After all, the trains may not even show up during our mission. You really are irresponsible, aren't you? However, there's still the possibility that those trains won't even show up. So why don't we stick to Headquarters' original plan and concentrate our efforts on destroying those pillboxes and breaking through?